How you doing today? Dirty old Bill Sapir, eh? Freaking right it is, boys. Well, she's been a rough week over here, she has. We lost poor old scrappy dog we did. We had to put the poor little bugger down. Freak seeks, eh? Poor little bugger. He had a whole bunch of problems going on, he did, so. It will all work out, boys, it, eh? It will all work out. Freaking right it will. I know this video is a little bit lighter than when it actually happened, but I just haven't been in the mood for recording after we had to put old dude down. Didn't think I'd miss him this much, but I do miss him, a little bugger, eh? He always greeted you and everything else like that. Frig sakes. But mom's having a really hard time. Nellie's having a hard time, but mom's the worst, eh? Stacy's mom got her scrappy dog there for her, and her mom passed away from the old C word there. And he meant a lot more than just a dog, eh? So, frig seats. Frig. But, uh, might have to get her another dog because she's having withdrawal something awful moist. If you want to leave any comments below there and uh, give me some ideas of a small dog because Mama likes a small dog, she does, but I don't know if I want another scrappy dog, eh? So leave your comments below there and let me know if you see any good dogs on YouTube that look like really cute dogs and they're small, eh? She wants another small dog, but I'll have to see what Santa brings her. I really don't want another animal in this house, but... Happy wife, happy life, boys. Hey, freaking right. So leave a comment below, and thanks a lot for watching and subscribing for all this stuff, eh? Freaking right. Really appreciate it. From the bottom of the old heart ski, I do. Freaking right, I do. But, on an up note, the cart's come along decent, eh? She's pretty much done, boys. I haven't got much to do on her, but I did get something new in today, I did. I got the, uh... The old new key for I did. Freaking right I did, eh? Look at that, boys. Comes with two new keys. So no more of this crap happening, eh? Where it just falls out and I don't know if this is a bad contact or whatnot. So let's tear into this thing and put in the old new Lockerooski and you see how easy she goes in. Why wouldn't we, hey? So I already took the screw out of the old Chokerooski, so we'll pull that off like that. And we'll pull this off like this. And I want to try to bend this over a little bit because she's not quite lined up, so we got to move that one over a little bit while she's off you. So we'll unthread the old key from here. Decent. Hey, didn't need that part. A couple screws down here, boys, in behind the brake pedal. Well, there's one screw in behind the brake pedal for sake's sakes, and there's no screw on the other side there, boys. So we'll get these out, like so. Hey, like so. And we'll, uh, we'll see if we can't pull this thing up, boys. Now, the reason why I took the choke off is so I can get this thing up and out of the way for a minute, because it's kind of in the way. And I don't want it in the way because it will just frustrate me. 12 mil, boys, just so you know, eh? 12 millimeters. So we'll take that out. Don't lose the screws now. We won't need that thing anymore because the key won't fall out, hopefully, with a new ignition on. We'll slide this up out of the way. Hopefully the old Bluetooth mic's long enough here. Yeah, you heard it right. Bluetooth on the old golf carty. Why the hell wouldn't I, right, boys? Girls, peoples? So I'm gonna hit this with a hammer. I really don't want to, but I'm gonna because I gotta see if we can get this thing lined up a little better. You can't turn the column. The column don't turn. She's a straight now. So let's give this a couple taps. Yeah. Girl. Oh, boys. She did turn actually. So before I hook up everything, let's try her and see if it lines up better. Because the problem I was having was the old whole rooski here wasn't quite in the right spot. So we'll pull this off, because we won't need this on the tester, boys. And uh, we'll see how he made out with a couple hits of the old hammer rooski. Boys, that did it. So all it needed was a couple hits of the old hammer. Now it's centered up, boys. Because I had a little gap on this side of the steering wheel that actually drove me crazy, it did. So that's decent, we fixed that. So we'll slide that out of the way. We'll pull out the old Kia rooski here, and we'll unplug her, boys. Unplug the old Kia rooskis. Maybe, hey, maybe. Great, I'm trying not to get in the way of the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. Freaking right, boys. So that's gone. Hey, that looks a little corroded. We better put some little corroded and stuff in there, boys. Put a little bit of grease in there, we will. Nothing like a little lube in the old plug. Hey, makes her slide in and out better, boys. Freaking right, it does. So, Slap some in here like so. And we'll slap some in here like so. Always remember to lube your connections, boys. We need a rag. Ow! Careful! Easy. Gentle. All right, so, we'll 
plug this in, and she should be direct plug-in, boys. Shouldn't be much to her here. Decent. Oh yeah, look at that, boys. She is a direct plug-in. Friggin' right it is. I'll put the link below down here where I got this key, in case anybody else needs one for their golf cart, which I doubt, but you never know, hey? Eh? You never friggin' know. So we'll pull this off like this, and we'll uh, slide her down and put her back together and see what happens here. Bop. Careful. Bop. Easy. Careful. Easy. Careful. Easy. All right, so now we got to get her in the right spot. We do. Where's the groove, boys? I think right there, boys. So slide this on here like this, and we'll give her a little screw job. Always make sure she's tight so she don't turn, eh? Let me get something to tighten that up a little better. We use the old vice grips adjustable. Well, when you're doing this, don't mark your freaking paint, boys. Hey, good old Jamie at J and J Body Shop there will kill me, Will, if I scratch his paint job. Hey, why wouldn't he? I would. Pretty right, I would. So there's that. There's my knee pad, boys. Need the knee pad, I do. Pretty right, I do. So now we'll shove this back in the hole. Careful. Hit the music and everything else here, boys. Slide that back in. Like so. We'll put the screw on, like so, for the old choke. We'll put this on like so. That's to stop water from going in the cable, God knows how. But anyways, that's what it's for, boys. So it doesn't even stay down, but hey, it's there, right? Eh? It makes it look like it's supposed to be there. We'll put the old Nabaruski back on. Decent. And now we need the screw that I almost lost, because it's so damn small, it's not even funny. What the hell, can they make it? More screw. I don't think they need the screw big enough. Just saying. There we go. So that's on. Oh boy, this is a five minute job it is. So now we'll slide that back down. We'll put the old bolt back in without the cable. Oh yeah. Yeah, we did. Pretty right we did. Hey? Pretty right we did. Give her a little crank job. Oh, right, he's toy. Careful! That's my snap on wrench, just so you know, boys. The old snap on there. She's uh, not working too good, she ain't. There we go, there's that. Feels pretty good, nice and tight. Snugged up, still got a little bit of a gap, but hey, little gap is better than big gaps. Some, Some say. say. Hey? Some say. How are we looking over there for gaps? Looks like it's all cockeyed and crooked. Friggin' right it is. That's all right, we'll straighten her out with a screw, boys. We can find the hole, I do. There she is right there, Kim. We'll screw this in like so. Careful. Holy. We'll learn until she's straight, boys. Pretty good there. I'll get this side. Right there. Yeah, that's definitely better. There's not as much as a gap on this side. So that works good, so let's try a key. Oh, decent. Turn to go forward, push and turn to go backwards, boys. See if it works. It sure does. Pretty right, we did. So there you go. We're back to cooking with butter, we are. Brand new ignition in the old golf cart, this and that and the other thing. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. It's just a quickie, but I wanted to show you how to change a key in a G1 Yamaha golf cart, boys and girls. So we got the old stereo here. And let's hit this button. What does this do? Ooh, oh, decent. Ooh, decent. Freaking right. But anyways, thanks a lot there for uh, people that's helped me out with this. You know, good old J and J Body Shop and uh, good old Gatlin from uh, Carphonics there. Freaking right, boys. Hey, you guys are freaking awesome. You rock, you do. Who else helped me out with this? Let me think, boys. Nobody. Hey, just me. Just me, boys. Pretty right it was. But uh, hopefully everybody's having a good day and not doing what I'm not doing. And uh, you know what to do for now.